Hey racquetballers! You may remember a time when we talked to Jana Noble, a local INSRA player who traveled all the way to Georgia to help out a friend in doubles and play in a tournament in Atlanta. This time we're going to talk to some players who cross state lines a lot closer to home. Indiana and Illinois long have the tradition of players crossing into the other state to play in tournaments. We're going to talk to a few who did just that. It's not just the people that you play with, it's the people you watch and meet and talk to, see what their viewpoint is, what, they're, what they want to get out of racquetball, whether it's a, a career, a profession, just for leisure, if they want to bring their kids up through the program. And it's just nice to see familiar faces that you haven't seen in a year. Uh, it's been a whole year, but you still remember what you talked about, that you, you know, met them once, even if it was only once. You, know, you try to make a lasting impression, a positive one, and then that way you're asked to come back. Because sometimes they ask you to come back because they need people. And they know that if you're willing to cross state lines, then they'll ask you to come back if they don't have enough bodies to fill a tournament. Um, I have three children that are participating in racquetball, and we travel. They travel with me when, when it's you know deemed that they can do that. We travel and play. So it's just, I love it. I love racquetball. I love the racquetball family. And, and traveling is not that big of a deal as long as it's not too, too far. I love traveling. Um, I like um, being able to experience a lot of different players. You know, because I mean, if you go to the same spot every time, you know, you start to know people and it's really fun just to travel. And um, I, I love traveling. If I stayed at my gym, we only have like two, three tournaments a year. So, you know, the reason why I travel is so that we can experience more tournaments and get, build bigger, bigger, um, a bigger round of friends and it's always fun. It's a more of a challenge. The level, there's other people that we'll never see in Indiana because they aren't willing to cross the line sometimes. So it's great to see the competition level be at a different level than what we have there even though we're in the same division. Everywhere is Sorry, a little different level, <laughs> as far as like how many you, women participate in certain I'm areas. There's a, there's a, a larger number of women that oh, yeah. participate in certain yeah, areas and then there's a larger number of men. So sometimes I have to be put in men's divisions because there's not enough, you know, there's not as many women in certain areas as I travel. That, that's really the only, I mean, the difference that I see. But I mean, everybody, I mean, across the board, everybody is so nice, you know, just we all support each other in the sport, we all support each other when we're playing games, and you know, we just it's all it's always fun. Really, any sport you need people to be spokesmen, to be example setters, uh, leaders, or just you know, the little busy people to keep it going. And yeah, to work a desk is great because you get to see everybody as they come in, you get to joke around, you get to you know, just if they're in a bad mood, try to cheer them up. Uh, it's all about attitude, racquetball is is you know 50 percent attitude if you have a bad un, un, you know not positive attitude when you're playing then it's going to show on the court you go into your upbeat i love to have fun when i'm playing on the racquetball court some people don't they walk through that court they want to be serious i like to have fun i take my game serious but i like to be you know one that models that it is a game it's a sport it's a game it's it's competitive but you can still laugh and have fun you don't want to go in there and hate the person that you're playing uh whether you're trying to beat them or not, you're always trying to beat them, but it's nice just to go in there, have fun, and be competitive. Uh, and then that way you can joke about it afterwards. Um, and with the other people that are around, and there's great talent uh, in, in Indiana, Indiana and in Illinois both. So the talent level is definitely great uh, on both sides of the line. I have my kids coming up through this, and I want to show them that, you know, it's a, it's a sport that needs supporters. and. And that's what we're going to do, just to support the sport and do what we can to keep everything going and participate. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that shows how crossing state lines and traveling to other states can help promote the sport and promote good idea sharing. For all things INSRA, go to INSRA.org, this site right here on YouTube, or on Facebook, search Indiana Racquetball Association. I'm Nathan Caldwell. Thank you for watching.